Welcome to the uh, Check Your Brain you, edition. You get God. It's our 2015 best and worst movies of 2015. And I've actually got a list We're, this time. You got a list this time. You're not just going to go, oh, you're not going to you're not going to put mo- pick gonna movies gonna from movies two years from ago. Years ago or- yeah. <laughs> I mean, we already did that last year. Dude, that was last year. Yeah. It was? <laughs> Really? <laughs> We're doing it a little different. If you're listening live, congratulations. If you're watching on checkbrain.com, well, you get to see our pretty faces. Do So, yeah, we got our... Uh, uh, we're doing a top five best and worst instead of top ten because we're on a time constraint. Um, I, by the way, <laughs> just, just uh, Cl- our old buddy Cliff review. from San Diego. Cliff from San Diego mm-hmm. was talking with him about, about calling in. He couldn't call in, but he said that his top five movies are anything starring Kirk Cameron. So, anyway. <laughs> oh. Kirk Cameron. I told him if he didn't. Were there five I to- movies I told him if he Kirk didn't. Ca- I told him if he didn't call, I was going to speak for him. So. Oh, okay. He's yeah, in, he's awesome. In a, he's My arch nemesis. You should have called, dude. That's what I told him. I said, your arch nemesis is going to be on the air tonight. We need you to call in. And he's a, he had a boat, a boat show or something. A boat show? Well, he so, yeah, uh, he he's one. a sailor. Okay. Last year, uh, we had two videos. Each one were almost an hour long, so we're going <laughs> to condense. Really yeah. There's four of us this time so, with a list, and we're going to condense it into about uh, 40 minutes. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably less. Not. We're, we're, we've only got five. We're gonna, we're, playing so we're, we're just going to jump in, all right? I am taking that out of your rotation. We're going to go with our number five. Best movie. Okay. And I got to make a little side note. My original pick for this mm-hmm. was the movie I've talked a lot about to you guys, uh, These Final Hours. Right. The reason it's not on my list is, be- is because I found out it was released in America this year, uh, 2015, but it was released in Australia in 2013. Right, because it was a Netflix movie, right? No. No, well, I mean, that's where it you saw it. It was a theatrical it, movie. It came out in the- oh, Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. So I thought it was 2015, so I had to take off my list. So, so my number like five. An asterisk by it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Honorable mention. Honorable mention. I have an honorable mention. That's go funny. see or go to Netflix. It's on Netflix streaming. These Final Hours. Got it. And watch it right along with be either before or after uh, Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. That's a Steve Carroll. <laughs> oh, Carroll. that is yeah. a phenomenal yeah. film. Great movie. It, it's it's kind of like watching the remake of Dawn of the Dead than watching Shaun of the Dead. It's like the same thing taking place in two parts of the world, mm-hmm. but uh, one's a comedy, one's serious. Right. Okay. Exactly the same way. Right. Okay. Anyway, my, my number five, uh, Kingsman. Okay. That is my number five. What? I, yeah. Worst? No, best. Oh, okay. <laughs> best. I was about to say, you were about to get punched. It was so good and unexpected at the beginning of the year. Uh, I went and saw it twice. Once with Frank, once with Mikey. Mm-hmm. Aren't you sweet? And uh, it's got stuff in that movie that I'm surprised they they got away with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you've seen it, right? Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So yeah, I like, that's I liked it. Uh, that's my number five. Number four. So, or are we got we yeah, we're gonna go around. Okay, around. Mikey, number five. Number five. Number five. <sighs> number five. I forgot to put an order on these. All right, I'm gonna go with Furious <laughs> Seven. Furious 7 is your uh, number five well, best. I, no, wait. That's supposed to be on the worst. Wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> that's like my middle of the road here. Okay. Where'd it go? Get your notes straight. Are we talking about man. our favorite movies of 2018 yeah, yeah. or the, like the best movies of 2018? What is your category. personal pick? The Martian. Pick. That's my number five. Okay. Your personal pick of your favorite. You already said the Furious 7, man. That he was, was the, my middle of the road pick. That was supposed to be an honorable mention for something. <laughs> so something. That, that belongs in this column over okay, here. Okay. Well, the, the Martian is number five for number five. Five. And, okay. and, and why? Well, just it is no. It did win for best comedy at the Golden Globes. Well, that's the thing, man. I mean, they take a serious concept, you know. And I was expecting the dude to die and stuff. It was just I don't comedy. Know, it, it, had, it had funny moments in it. I laughed a few times during. That's it. why the Golden Globes are a joke. To me. Right. Okay. Hey, I don't care what they say, but I just, I just enjoyed the. I just really enjoyed. The hey, movie. it won. It won the Pretty Little Statue. It won a Pretty Little Statue. Who cares about Pretty Little Statues? Yep. I, I saw it as the. Uh, it is this generation's Apollo thirteen. When Apollo yeah, thirteen came much. out, and what was it, ninety six? I think it was. That movie blew me away, and it's gave me that same feeling that I got uh, right, well, twenty years ago. All right, well, I, but what's your number five, bro? Number five. Joseph. Best. Ne- Her favorite. 
Best, what are we like? If it's the best, then I have to I have to do some research because like best is this. These are in your opinion. Things. In your opinion, like like my favorite, my fifth favorite movie of 2015. Yes. was the Ant Man. Ant Man, beautiful. See, I missed that one, man. In theater, you but, missed Ant Man. Yeah, great. I remember. I was it was a very cool yeah, superhero. Video. I know. I'm it pissed. Was, I'm it pissed. was unexpected. Yeah. Yes. To me, it was unexpected. right up there with Guardians as far as a good movie. Yeah. Uh, from yeah. Marvel. Yeah. Like going into Guardians, I was just like, man, I don't know how I'm gonna like this movie. I walked in like, dude, that was like the best thing I'd seen all year. It was well, what cool was it? As- a- oh, go ahead. This is cool as crap. Yeah. Why? Why Ant Man? I had the concept. Um, Hank. You know, they took away Hank Pym. Mm-hmm. In, in in a version, Hank Pym is a character in, in Mar, uh, Marvel. You know, like he beat his wife at one point. Or yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. he hit abuse. his wife. He had like some domestic hmm. uh, abuse issues there, yeah. and he was yeah. very, he was like, uh, if y'all think Tony Stark's is bad, like they've kind of portrayed <laughs> Tony Stark. Like Hank Pym was ten times as worse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and they kind of showed his obsession a little bit in the movie. Michael Douglas did a phenomenal job. Yeah, Hank he did. Pym. And they took him out of it. And created a new Ant Man, which I thought was brilliant because what's happening with these is like Guardians, they get they're like these really good movies, so all of a sudden people go rush and they start buying these comic books and these canons and stuff, and they're like, Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> this isn't exactly what I thought. This is not characters. like the movie. Right. You know, like Ant- Iron Man was kind of a B list Marvel character until the Civil War and really, really until the the <clears throat> Iron Man movies. Yeah. But anyway. Um, the introduction of, of what's his name Todd something Scott S- Scott Todd Scott mm-hmm. Tom, Scott and Paul Rudd such a quirky actor yeah. just performed it was it was meant for him you know I, it, just, it was like they literally wrote the script for this guy hey, it was like Michael Keaton being Batman you like, <laughs> yeah you like it was like what this worked and this yeah was <laughs> but even better the introduction of the Wasp. Which yeah. this is kind of a spoiler, I guess, a little bit. But uh, oh, Evangeline, now, Evangeline Lily from yeah. Lost is going to be the Wasp, and it was just, of course, I mean, you knew it was coming from like the yeah. window, but uh, yeah, it was, it was just a really good, cool, cool. It's just hard for me to picture that because the last thing I saw Paul Rudd in was This Is Forty. I love This Is Forty, <laughs> which <laughs> was an awesome like, movie, yeah. by the way. It was great. Was that the one that had like five endings? Mm. Five endings. This is uh, no, that was uh, Return of the King and Mockingjay Part Two. Ah, yeah, there we go. Which is the Adam Sandler movie? Yeah. Oh, Funny People. Yeah, Funny right. People. They they like a bunch of endings. Okay, you're Brandon. All right, All right. Here's, here's where I'm at. Okay, I've, I had the number six because I had to fit it in, and it was on everybody's worst list, and I <laughs> I, I liked it. I'm sorry, it was a Mad fun Max. movie. All right, what is it? Uh, it's Pixels. Uh, everybody okay. hated it. I liked it. I thought it was a lot of fun. It was, it was fun. It was a fun movie. The whole thing with Pac-Man. You had to play those games. Yeah. Too. I, I mean, for a kid that grew up playing those games, it was fun. I got sucked in at that first 15-minute. Yeah. Yeah. And Link Letter? <laughs> it's always good. Uh, yeah. But my number five, and it's funny that, that he said that, and he's, and he, I, I don't even really have to say anything. My number five was it was Ant-Man also. Okay. So uh, it, was a com- it was a comedy. It was a superhero movie, but it was a comedy. It was funny. And it wasn't just your typical run of the muck uh, superhero film like uh, the Avengers: The Age of Ultron. I, I, it was okay, but it didn't really you know get me all excited. Ant Man was a, was great. It was amazing. Great performance from from Paul Rudd, uh, Michael Douglas. The story. The, every, I, mean, I didn't I didn't really know what was going to happen next. It was unexpected. That's what I liked about it. Okay. And that's why it's my number five. Okay. Should we uh, do a number five worst or do all the best and then do the worst? Let's do all the best first. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Four. Because the worst, I'm sure, it's going to get. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna my my might surprise some people. My my worst. What's your number four? Number my number my number four best is Krampus. Krampus. Oh, yes. Krampus. Are we sure you're not on the worst list? <clears throat> I, I'm sure because <laughs> I got them bold and underlined. Here's all the movies bold. I've seen he's this year. <laughs> yeah, he Good sent Lord. me. Yeah, he sent me how many movies he's seen. This uh, Krampus. The Krampus. reason it's my number four. Um, nostalgia rules in 2015. Yep. Uh, practical effects rule. Yep. This movie was almost a near perfect movie, if for, as if it was made in the 80s. As far as practical effects, sound sound this design, 35 years old, uh, <clears throat> production design. Characters, the I writing. Wish I'd be in the theater with him now because I'd be the, yelling at him. It's I, I can't describe how perfect this movie is for what it is, for what it is. 
I haven't seen it, man. I, you know, I'll give any movie a chance, but I'll tell you this, Frank. I, I took Frank with me to see it. We took Frank. To Frank time. did not want to see this movie. He's like, this movie's gonna I can't suck. Really trust he Frank's walked, opinion. He walked out of this. <laughs> I can't movie. trust a railroader. <laughs> this is a guy that loves rubber. You know the movie. Rubber. I like rubber. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like, I like rubber. There's a movie. And that just explains. Yeah, it's about, about a killer, killer tire. tire. What? Yeah, yeah. It's a metaphor. <laughs> it's a metaphor. That whole opening scene metaphor. with a... Okay, wow. not about rubber. Anyway, Krampus. Okay, Krampus. Sorry. Yeah, is almost a perfect movie. If there wasn't these couple other movies out there, it might have made my number one. Really? Okay. As perfect wow. as it is. This yeah. is interesting. I'm not surprised. And my, my list this year is about fun. Um, I'm, not, I'm not being so technical and right. looking at all oh, artistic my pinky in the air and stuff like that i'm looking at <laughs> how much fun i had Z. this year how much fun did i have in the theater right right and krampus was it yeah four mikey go number four jurassic world jurassic world i have no problem with that <laughs> i mean do you have any problem with that <laughs> yeah it's a remake of the first one who cares but they did it so much better in this one it was it was a really fun and it, if you take the original Jurassic Park and Jurassic World and cut out everything in between, you've got a perfect film series. Yeah, two movies. That's what they did. Boom, boom, done. Just well, cut out the middleman. I, I think a big part of uh, your stuff with Jurassic World was uh, number one, Pratt. Yeah, is oh, just God, great. It's hilarious. I mean, there was a lot of humor. There was a lot of humor strewn throughout the film, mm -hmm. and yeah, there was a lot of wink, wink, nudge, nudge stuff to yeah. the original film, which is that's nostalgia rules, as yeah. he said in yeah. 2015, which is what they did. I mean, they went in. Yeah, yeah, they played it safe. Yeah. It, it takes you to a happy. It's place. a soft reboot. Yeah, pretty that's much what it is. Yeah. And they played it really it's safe. A better reboot. And they're going in the direction. Though, I had, yeah, I had fun uh, with that movie. Well, yeah. they're going in a direction though. That, do you remember a few years back when they were talking about that it was going to be about dinosaur soldiers or something crazy like yeah, that? Yeah, that was yeah. one they, of the they, scripts. They started touching on that a little bit. You know, you've been watching uh, Red yeah. Letter Media that yeah. I've been sending you. Yeah. You watch their Jurassic World oh, yeah. review. They See, he sends him stuff <laughs> like that, but nothing to me. All right, number four. I, I, well, I have my like, last Wumble. seven minutes of my life back. Wumble. 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 Number four. Yeah, here's Jurassic your seven World? minutes back. I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I love it. It wasn't even fun. I love it. That it was fun. fun. It's like, hey, let's what's take your, a raptor, your fourth best movie throw him in there to mate with a T-Rex, and we'll make a movie about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they didn't and then, oh, wait, wait, wait. The spawn that, that mated these two will also kill it, but not really the water one will. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Wombo. Number four. <laughs> Amy. Number four? Amy? What? Amy? Documentary about Amy Winehouse. Heard it was good. Beautiful film. A big blues fan, big jazz fan. Amy Winehouse is is she's the Kurt Cobain of of this generation, or that generation, of the emo generation, if you will. Amy, <laughs> she's crazy. It was crazy. It was very informational or inform. I don't know, whatever you want to say, but informative. 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 There you go. <laughs> Your but, vocabulary uh, is. <laughs> it gives you a light about. It, 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 it sheds light on something. That I, of course, you know, people deal with. She should have went but to you're rehab. But you're able to uh, understand a little bit yeah. as to why. Why? What? what and like, right. when, you, when it's all said and over, you felt like you lost, you know, a Jimi Hendrix. You Two felt like you lost a, a Cobain. You felt like you lost a, a Brad Newell. You felt, you know, you felt right. like you lost something that, that you'll never get back. Right. Cool. All right. That's on Netflix, I think. I've seen it on the shelf at Best Buy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, two dollar bargain. So that's your number four. Uh, my number four is uh, my number four is Trainwreck, the Amy Schumer movie. I've heard that's good. I'm sorry, that was one of the funniest things I've ever seen, and I love. I, Frank I, keeps I, trying I think, to get me to I watch think it. she's I hilarious. I'm so. sorry. She was she was hysterical. The movie was funny. I like Bill Hader. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was one of the funniest <clears> movies I, I saw the whole year. So it made that's why I made my top five. And I didn't see enough stuff. I have. I'm like. I know. I got slim pickings over here. That's what I'm at. You know, I'm going by what I actually saw. I was sitting there looking through the list. I'll take you through to most of mine. I know. But there were some <laughs> stuff I couldn't quite get there for. And yeah. If I'd been there for Krampus, I would have been clowning on you that so whole time you were talking four. about. All right, number three. Um, number three. Before I do number three, I want to make sure there's not a beard in the camera over there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put you over in the corner. <laughs> You just uh, turned the corner there, and uh, wow, dude, no, you're a grown man. I, you just got I, was, I saw you looking. I was like, whoa! I, want, I hope there's not a beard in Frank covering Womble's face. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so uh, hilarious. My number was. three. There's nothing more really to say. Jurassic World is my number three. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I had a blast. Cool. I had it. Mikey, you're number three. Avengers: Age of Ultron. 
Well, okay then. Okay then. <laughs> Hashtag, y'all, hashtag, y'all know I'm a mo- Marvel buff. Hashtag, well, okay then. Hashtag, well, okay. So you were, you were happy with the Age of Ultron. See, yeah. there were, I mean, there, there was some cool stuff, too. I, the whole thing wasn't bad. It was just, I don't know, yeah. it just didn't really... Well, to me, I, like, the, I really enjoyed the whole, in the beginning, the boom. Of course, I watched that Agent Marvel's The Shield stuff, so I know all the backstory stuff, and that was too. tied into it, yeah. and all the other movies. I'm just enjoying the way they're putting it out there in movie format, and they're kind of continuing through, and everything's just kind of... Well, you got to watch some of the outside stuff, too, to keep up with it. But, you know, if you follow all that, you you know what's in the story. You know what's going on in the background with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and what's mm-hmm. happening in the movies. And I just, yes, yeah, probably the first one was the better of the two, but I just enjoyed what it was because James Spader as Ultron. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That was my favorite part of the <clears> No, <throat> no, no change to his voice, just him talking. And if, I don't know if you've been watching The Blacklist. No, but I've heard it. Oh, man, he's great in that, too. But just the way he just delivers some of his lines, like when he's flying off and the Hulk jumps in there, he's like, oh, for the love of God, and he just yeah. gets tossed out the back. <laughs> or, you know, he's just randomly just talking and stuff, and he's just like, ah, you know, da 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 And it's just like so natural. I roll he, had the the best, he had the best lines. He the this, uh, uh, this is becoming a plug show for Red Letter Media, but go to their website, <laughs> and uh, they recut Age of Ultron with James Spader lines from other movies. Oh, oh, I bet that's fun. It is hilarious. <laughs> you you can just okay. tell though when he was doing these lines, he was just having so much fun with it. Yeah, and okay. just the way that whole cast is together is just like they must have had a ball making that movie. Womble, you're number three. Number three. Um, okay, I th- this was going to be the Martian. The Martian was my number three favorite movie. All right. Cool. Yeah. Cool. I, I, I have no have problem you with seen, that either. I sent you something not to. <laughs> Something a couple of days ago about what movie poster should say. That was funny. And the, the yeah. one yeah, for he him, said it to me. Yeah, yeah. It was like uh, how was it something like um, how we save Matt Damon again? Yeah. Which is like this dude has cost us a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of money in our lives. Wait, what was the other one we had to save him from? Saving uh, Private Ryan. Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. Interstellar. 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 Yeah. yeah. Martian, <laughs> like this dude. Yeah. <laughs> the movie. <laughs> the movie though. Yeah, you, you gotta. Have y'all seen The Martian? Have yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. We went and saw it the theater. The, reason, what, the two reasons it made me, I just like it, it just nailed it down, was one, when he was, he was, he was a botanist, so he created potatoes. And yep. it was like, he said something about being able to, was it, what did he say? Oh, he colonized the planet. He was the first to colonize yeah. the planet. But then the, the whole correlation, the math behind being a space pirate, because mm-hmm. uh, I was thinking that too I was like this dude's like a space pirate and yeah. then they go in he goes into the, like literally yeah. five minutes like goes into that speech about being a space pirate yeah. I'm but about Maritime the concept lately. about him being stuck there and I, and I you know not like this could ever happen or maybe one day I don't know could. but you're being stuck in some place and then finding not like a reason to live for because he didn't really have like this is my wife this is my kids this is my family God, I believe he was that. single in the movie wasn't he you know, he didn't have he didn't have like these things to live for, except for the want and will to live. And I thought that was mm-hmm. a brilliant concept. Like you strip away all the other things. Like you you go to work because you have a wife and kids. You go you go bills do to these pay. bills to pay. You go do all these things because that you don't want to do, so that you can take care of who you need to take care of. <clears throat> and he just simply wanted to live. And there mm-hmm. wasn't really ever a time in there where I felt like oh he's done. He's gonna give up. You know, he's done. Because even after some things happened, he was yeah. like... Yeah. Oh, he had so many sets. And I thought that was a just... brilliant concept because we don't, we don't really talk about that anymore. We talk about stress and why we do all this crap we don't want to do and, and yada, yada, yada. And Martian was like, you know what? He you just think you've got it bad? What if you were stranded on a yeah, planet like, you had no support? So I thought that was an interesting concept. Yeah, today. it was. It's great. Cool. Okay, Brandon, your number. Uh, I'm running with him. Martian? Martian was my number right, three. Then. Yeah. Anything special for that stick out for you? Uh, sur- survival of the fittest. I mean, you know, well, he's the only one there. I'm I'm not a big si- <laughs> I'm not a big science guy. I've never been a big science guy, but just the way that you know, okay, here's where we're at. Yeah. What are we gonna do to? See, we, we got to figure, like, figure right at the end. What summed it up? He was like, you just figure out the problem. Yeah. And you solve yeah. it. Solve that problem. Enough, you solve the next home. problem. You solve the next problem. Yeah. You solve enough. You go. Home. But yeah, I thought it was very, very powerful. I like Matt Damon. I like Ridley Scott. Uh, I like Jeff Daniels. You know, he's he's, he's oh yeah. Uh, great cast. Great story. Great film. So yeah, that, was, what, that was number three. Another, another thing right. I liked about it is how the whole time he's recording everything and he's talking to the camera like someone's there across from him. Like when he like runs Wilson? out of ketchup, he's like, I just ran out of ketchup yesterday. 
I, mean, I related to that. Viking, and there's no one here to stop me. He just crunch, 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 and just looking at the camera like, what are you going to do, punk? <laughs> yeah. All right, my number two, people might be surprised, is not my number one. I'm, I'm sorry to inform you guys, I am not that big of a Star Wars guy. I love it. But it's not my number one. It's my number two. Force Awakens. <laughs> okay, that's true. Uh, You're actually, gonna hit another two. button because that's my number two. Number as well. two is Force Awakens. Uh, I've seen it three times at, three, at theater, once in 3D. I've seen it with different people each time. I nostalgia, Krampus, Jurassic World, Star Wars, nostalgia, nostalgia. <laughs> and yeah, it's a remake. Uh, a New Hope. We can say it now. But I'm okay with that because I had fun. It's a reboot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's another soft reboot, basically. Um, here's a story you know, but here's people you don't. Yeah. And go with it. Have uh, you seen the you see the, the emo Kylo Ren on Twitter? I follow <laughs> him, yes. <laughs> that is great. I heard about that. Stuff. I need to look that stuff up. Yeah. Oh, it's speaking great. of Star Wars, uh, which we're not going to get to movie news tonight, but uh, they moved the Star Wars date for Episode Eight from uh, May of 2017 to December of 2017. Now, so yep. Yep, two years, money again, <laughs> which is fine. Take 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 longer. Take your time. That's, take I'm longer. Fine with it. Take a little more time. But yeah, take I, longer, can make a better. We've back. already done a Star Wars Force Awakens review. Go to checkbrain.com. <laughs> Check Brain Letter uh, Red Letter sponsored by Checkbrain.com and Red Letter Media. <laughs> exactly. Go go watch our review uh, featuring Emma in her first. Yes, that's right. Check Brain yes, video. That's right. Pretty that's good. Right. First. That's right. Very good. Very uh, but yeah, nothing your, more to say. What's your, your number, number two? Star Wars Force Awakens. What's your number two, Marvel? His is going to be something different. Oh. Star Wars and the one or two. Oh, okay. Whoa. See, we're all in agreement. Star Wars: The Force Awakens. All right. Now. I know we're not all. Well, here, here's. <laughs> here, I know Wombles. I bet three out of four have the same. Well, <laughs> the deal with Star Wars: The Force Awakens was it was not it was not the prequels because that yeah. wasn't when uh. we saw those that wasn't what we wanted. No, it was fan service. Yes, nostalgic. Yes, a reboot yes. of the prequel. Yes, but it was the magic of the old movies, and that's what I liked about it. Yeah. Uh, the whole thing with this Flynn and Falcon flying around everywhere, and Han and Chewie, and and, and I plus different reasons, I guess. Uh, Daisy Ridley. Uh, amazing, amazing, top-notch acting. If you ask me, I'm sorry. I thought she was great. She was. Uh, <clears throat> I thought that the and the script, the script for the Force Awakens was one of the more well-written scripts okay. I've seen in years. Well, Rumble, what, what's what's your reasons? I want to hear yours. Uh, to, really, just it involved around Ridley. the Ray Daisy Ridley. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But when he said, "There's been an awakening," have you felt it? And that was like, yes, finally we get to see. A story about the Jedi, and I and I, this is what I'm hoping for, yeah. because we all know that Jedi exist. Right. We all know the Sith ex exist, but there's always these bigger things going on outside of the Jedi and outside of the Sith. Mm -hmm. But you know what the coolest thing about Star Wars is? The Jedi and the Sith. Like we could not talk about anything else. And Easy on the mic, killer. Talk about Sorry. Jedi and the, and the and the Sith, and I'd be happy with it. Yeah. And that's what I'm hoping this is. And when he said the Awakening is something that is going to concern extensive uh, coverage on Jedi and Sith. Yeah. Or in particular the Jedi, because there's really can only be two Sith. Supposed so to be supposed only to be. two. But you know that that's what that's what got me intrigued. I you know well, but I, Daisy Ridley as Ray. Yeah. And the theories and, and all the well the theory that got spoiled by their video game. I don't know if you heard about that, but the video so game they released part? like gave out a huge, huge huge no, a huge, huge plot reveal <laughs> like like massive massive Yikes. plot reveal um because they forgot to edit it out of the video game <laughs> so um dun, 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 dun. Well, you know she was phenomenal i didn't care much for the other guy what's his name Wait, which video Adam game Driver? are you talking about yeah huh which, which video, video game? game the the one made for the movie the they made a like a like, yeah like a, a like force a, awakens game yeah they made uh, one? it was like a mobile Oh, like okay, okay. Oh, the mobile sorry. game. Okay, I was gonna say um, the only big one was like the Battlefront. Yeah. Uh, in, anyway, uh, yeah, yeah I, I didn't really care. You know, I didn't care for him because I wanted him to be Han Solo, and they turned her into Han Solo. Like she's like a combination of Luke and Han Solo. Like I don't know how that's gonna. Oh, you work. want yeah, Finn to think, become Han Solo? I think Poe is more Han Solo. That's what I thought too. Yeah, yeah he, but he's more he Han Solo was like attitude. fighting for the. No, not really. The resistance. He, he was more like Luke in the first one. 
I mean, he's more. I don't know. Five is the first, be a bad pop. He's awesome pop. Okay, but he she, wasn't a smuggler. Now, granted, you can't be Han Solo. No, you no. know. Okay, that's but why I don't think they should I make the Han they, Solo movie. Me neither. Well, well, that's what I'm saying. I, I, I don't. You need somebody like Han Solo in Star Wars to make yeah, Star Wars yeah. work, because the the comedy in this one seemed to be a little bit. They, they were trying too hard to get the laughs, and there was a lot of laughs in it. But they were trying really hard. It the reason the, the other ones were so great, yeah, I liked them from Han was because all that stuff. One, he, he improvised so many lines, and two. Mm -hmm. It was from unexpected things like C three PO. They were he was trying to be this droid sound. Like George Lucas didn't have a whole lot of want for it to be comedic, but yeah, it, he it wanted to be out more to be. taxi yeah. driver. And and this one was they tried really hard to be comedic in certain areas. And some of it was funny, but it was like, Okay, you're reaching a little bit, Abrams, you know. Well I, I didn't feel that. I will say my what, one of my favorite scenes in that film is the and I'm not gonna totally give it away, but the the where they introduce the Millennium Falcon into the movie. Yeah, yeah. I mean the, from great. the from the music cue to the way that scene plays out, it's just perfect. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, let's jump to uh, number one. Number one uh, let's go with Womble first. Womble. <laughs> Mine's yes, yes. Y'all probably it's the walk. The walk. Yeah, it's, 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 it's I haven't seen that. Um, I've never heard of it. I don't, of course, I don't know if it's in this decade now. I'm that old, but it's been it, a few movies is. this century that have really resonated with me, whether it was the time or whatever. But um, Up was for me one of the movies that go down in history of one of the greatest movies of all time yeah. in my lifetime. The Walk is getting there. If it's not already there, The Walk is about um, Philip Petit, who yeah. is a wire. Mm -hmm. High Wire Walker. And oh, he, I've never seen a preview for that one. He time. walked on the Twin Towers. Yeah. And I had always heard about this, but I never really cared, to be honest. Like, I never, like, okay, that's cool, but it was back in the 70s, you know, who cares? You know, some circus stuff. And then for, somebody told me this movie was really phenomenal in 3D. And I was like, okay, I'm not seeing it now because I hate <laughs> right, 3D. Right, right. I right. have no. And, this is the first time that I regret not seeing a 3D movie. And probably the only time I regret not seeing a 3D movie because I imagine seeing this in 3D would I, I would, I don't know if I could have, I, I probably got sick because I was getting vertigo just watching it on 2D. So I can imagine 3D because I hear the depth perception on the 3D is amazing. Yeah. And the story behind the guy, Philip Petit, and how he did this is amazing. I mean, they were like a covert operation. Pretty yeah, he much? called it. He yeah. called it Le Coupe. Yeah, because he had to sneak in unauthorized and 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 wire his line, and it had to take. He had uh, what, what do he what do he call them? Associates. He called them something else. I can't remember. But conspirators. Co he had people that had to help him. And can you imagine somebody saying, "Hey"? <laughs> Will you help me walk on a wire line across between the Twin the, Towers? <laughs> what would you tell? If I said that to you, what would you say? Did, no you way hell like, you're getting me on top of that building. You know what I'm saying? We're about to do but some But then the guy was out there for 45 <laughs> minutes. He did eight walks on this thing. Yeah. And the story is, is people didn't really like these. They, they called them two filing cabinets. And then he did that, and then all of a sudden New York fell in love with the, with the towers. Like he... Mm -hmm brought a soul to the tower for what he did. Anyway, you need to watch this film. Not only is it one of the best films of 2015, it's, it's, it's one of the best films of the last decade. And I thought JGL was pushing it with his acting, but then I went and watched the documentary, and he toned down for the petite. Yeah, Man on Wire. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he toned the guy down. The guy is like, the guy is very energetic. In face. He's kind of annoying when you hear him talk. <laughs> and when you watch the movie, you're like, dang, JGL's pushing it. But really, he's not. He really toned down. Yeah. Does he sound a lot like Steve Urkel? No. Can I do that? All right. Well, it's just we got to jump into uh, number one so we get to our worst right. before yes. we get cut off. Right. Well, number one. All right, number yeah, one, yeah, uh, yeah, one, two, Furious. three, Furious, Furious Road. Road. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wobble hates us. Well, I mean, okay. I'll, I, let me throw this well, out. Well, that okay. ties in because my number five of the most worst movies is the that's, year. That's fine. All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Fury Road we'll, go, was, we'll go that route. Fury Road was a panic attack on film. Yes, it was. It was the way the way it was edited, the way the sound worked, the way the soundtrack worked, the way the scenes were shot. Yeah, it's now it's not a movie you're going to watch and realize something very special about yourself. It's not something that's going to change your life. It's just bad. I, yeah, yeah, bad. It's bad donkey. 
That is what I can pretty much say. Um, yeah, I mean, it was just done very well. well I went and saw it. Bad and donkey. I sat down, and that's one of the first movies in a long time that I didn't take my eyes off the screen. Yeah, me neither. The whole time. Me neither. It was just, so. it was, it, to me, and this is, this is me, to me, it is a moving painting. I can have it on in my house at any point in time, just in the background, because it just it's just beautiful. Period. Waffles over here going nuts. I know. It's sick fine. to my stomach. That's fine. All right. <clears throat> I just enjoyed Worst. it. Worst. It wasn't my There's worst. nothing more we can say about it. Yeah. Other people have it. Wobble number uh, five. Worst. <laughs> Oh, we my, know what. My, 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 let's really just jump in. Five. Okay, you're, you're number, number five, five worst Jurassic is. World. Oh, Jurassic World? Yes, you're when I got five? out of Jurassic World, I, I, I liked Jurassic World, and then I watched it on DVD. <clears throat> and when I got done with it. He broke the DVD. I, it just, it was a shell. <laughs> it was a shell of a movie after watching it the second time. Well, I guess the first time, big screen can't I was you. just happy to be in the movie theater and see dinosaurs on the big screen yeah. again. And then I watched it, and then I thought. If it wasn't for Bryce Dallas Howard being so hot, I would kick care less. <laughs> that movie was awful. There was nothing. I find to your it. lack of faith disturbing. And it's sad. <laughs> it's you sad. don't have headphones. <laughs> I don't have. Oh, is he putting so, me on? Uh, he, he's playing sound effects. Yeah, uh, so. yeah. Are you want to hear it? No. 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 All right. Um, uh, my, he's the recording. My number five worst movie of 2015. Inside Out. Oh, you went and saw that? I have kids. I, I was supposed to go I watch my niece. I liked Inside Out. Did feelings one? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't. No. I mean, it, it wasn't up or anything. That movie right. annoyed. Yeah, up was great. That movie annoyed the crap out of me for the first half, and then the second half got okay, but I was. N it didn't have enough time to get me over that first half. Right. <laughs> Where I went home, I was, the kids were like, that was pretty good. I, I was the like, sad thing. What's well, a sad one? Let she was the hate funny flow one. through you. I, I just, I, 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 went, I went home, I was just like, ah. the kids were like, pretty good. I was like, you guys suck. Now, I was supposed <laughs> to go watch it with my nieces, but I, never, I didn't make that. So that was uh, my number five worst. Mikey. My number five worst, Jupiter Ascending. Really? Yes. I heard that from lots of people. I've seen it. I, 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 it was one of those check your brain movies. I enjoyed it while I was there, but then I started thinking about it. I was like, that was really the crappiest thing. I mean, just the way it unfolded and everything. Like, what? yeah, it had his hero bits and stuff. And the rest of the time, I'm like, I'd rather watch Magic This is the Mike. dumbest what? space opera I've ever seen. <laughs> what saved that movie for me was. Saved it? Saved it was the attention to detail. I'm not saying it was a badly put together movie. It's it just, was a great universe, just poorly executed. Yeah, exactly. It, it had potential, but some of the ways that some of the things they did, I'm just like. Best part. Uh, is, best part is when she's trying to get the paperwork done. Oh, uh, that and was that great. That was very hit. That was great. Trying to get the galaxy. paperwork done to be officially recognized as so and so, and. And I mean, you can't <laughs> get mad at Xanadu with rocket boots. <laughs> That's why I, I said mean, I'd really watch Magic Mike. <laughs> It's not on my worst list. I'll uh, say that much. Well, okay. it's on my worst just for the fact that it had potential to be so much more, and it just kind of fell flat on its face. Right. It was yeah. still a fun movie, but it just it just fell short. All right, Brandon, you're number five worst. Uh, I only have two. Uh oh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> two worst movies. I didn't see anything. The, my, my worst, my worst of 2015 is I'm not seeing enough movies. That is my worst. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'll hey, that's a documentary on. Uh, uh, let me just do, do my two, and I'm done. My, uh, number two was the uh, the vacation reboot thing. I didn't like that. I didn't think it was funny. I thought they were trying to like be vulgar and be funny, and it just it didn't work for me. I didn't think it was funny. So, hey, it wasn't the same as no, the old one. It just it no. just it was like okay, let's make it. But better. I didn't hate it. I no, laughed. I didn't care for it. I seen my it. number one worst movie of 2015, and you can see the review on Checkbrain.com, <laughs> is uh, that Chappie thing. That was just. I mean, you. I was expecting something so cool, and we got yeah. short circuit to really? in see, South this Africa. Is what you With thought it was going to be cool. Like I could have told you to save your ten bucks. Yeah. Well, it, it was. I didn't even see it. This like, was a uh, movie. It. I mean, we know the director wanted to make a short circuit movie that's right. why he made this movie yeah well. and he wanted Johnny to make Five's a whole he lot wanted likeable. to make a robocop movie but they wouldn't give him that either so he took those well, two stories well he wanted to make one right and now he wants to make an alien movie and they won't let him do that either yeah. <laughs> i don't think they kind of took his money away yeah. I, I i stand by my statement from the chapter review that bloom Cap blew his load on district nine wow <laughs> I mean, his, his creative, his creative, all his creativity and all that, he just somebody, wasted it all on that movie. Somebody Did just jumped yeah. try, sure. He's trying so hard. He's trying so hard with each new movie Elysium. to make up for that, to reach that same guy. potential. Yeah. 
Yeah. I didn't think Elysium was that bad. It, it watch it again. Bad. It wasn't that bad. Watch it again. The, the, camera han, the cameraman has uh, Parkinson's. The script writer has Tourette's. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it, he wanted to and make a Halo movie, blender. and this is what we got. Yeah. You know? But uh, Chappie, yeah, it's the That's story crappy. of Johnny Five. It's the day with Johnny Five and the Los Locos band. <laughs> <laughs> Gang. That's, yeah. that's the movie. Wow. So instead of Los Locos, so that, you've got the, uh, the, uh, p- the people from Diantor, the yeah. weirdo South yeah. African so. rap mess. So what's your number five worst? That I already told you. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Inside I'm Out. S- my number sorry, four. four that's what I meant to say, number four. My number four was... Uh, Hot sexy date with this guy and another guy. Shoot the shades of gray, <laughs> which is one of our highest viewed reviews. Are you serious? We got like a hundred something yeah, views. Yeah, a bunch on that of one. big hairy guys watching Fifty Shades of Gray. Fifty Everybody Shades of Gray. That, yeah. The reason been, it's it not the reason it's not like closer to number one was. I watched that movie. And I was like, you know what? If David Cronenberg had directed this thing, this could be awesome. Yeah, but I he didn't direct. Laughing this. during that thing, that I couldn't take director? it serious. David Cronenberg, <laughs> <laughs> the director of The Fly. <laughs> uh, well, he did make Crash. Uh, Existence. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that movie. Yeah. Uh, th- yeah, I, I had a blast Nightmare. doing the review and going <laughs> the experience of going to a theater full of young women, and really you- old women, and transvestites. Wow. And then Watching the next day, getting and, and getting us being the only three guys in there. You are the only three guys. We in the were theater. the only three guys in the theater. Well, you're lucky you didn't. No, get there were a couple others got off. dragged in there by their girlfriends. Oh, okay, well, we were the most bad. popular ones. It was pretty boring. Yeah, we were. But yeah, yeah. Well, yeah that's C- your number four. Huh? CGI. Um, anyway. CGI. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's Micah. my number four, Mikey. Your number. Th- my number four would be Tomorrowland. Okay. Because back back to what you were talking earlier about having a philosophy just jammed down your throat. Yeah, that was Tomorrowland from beginning to end. I mean, it started off okay, I wanted a lot from that. And then movie. the message came out, and it was just like they were just holding you there with a freaking plunger and just jammed down throat. The environment, the environment, the environment. Save yourself. Ah, very like, Avatarish. Okay, <laughs> it made Avatar look tame. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's one of those. Okay, get drunk, watch great, it, and laugh but... at it, but it's just. Ugh. I don't know. Yeah. Tomorrowland, yeah, it could have been a pretty good movie. Could have been. Uh, it had great I parts. I, I, like, I liked a lot of the parts in it. So, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, didn't make my worst list. The, the, the brow beating of the message, beating the horse to death, it passed the glue factory of death. <laughs> Just, that's what ruined it for me. All right, Womble, you're uh, Womble on ski. number four. Worst was <laughs> Fury Road. Uh, <laughs> my number four. No. You know, I, I can't even put. A, I can't even explain. Just say it. You know how like, un, I mean, unsatisfied I was when I after watching Fury Road. Is this your number like, four? No, I don't. Oh. I don't even care. Like I don't even care enough. About <laughs> it's so bad. List. It's not. I don't even want so to bad. promote this movie. Um, okay. You're number four. Jupiter Sydney. It just got so old so quick and. <laughs> He was was he a werewolf or, or was he a yeah. Wolverine? Dog boy. So, I thought he was a mog. He, he was a mog. Have you seen of, it? Because he had cousin of. Barf. I haven't like, seen it, but he looks like he's a cousin of. Ten Barf. minutes ago, Barf. he was a stripper in Vegas, and now he's moving to Miami to do XXL, and then now he's you know like I don't. <laughs> what are you doing, man? The <laughs> thing is, is I like Channing Tatum. Like I think the guy's really pretty. He's it, a pretty decent actor. And he's he's like good in the right dude. role. He's, he's good like, in the right role. You like read stuff about him. Like the dude's like a really good dude. You know, yeah. it's not like a yeah. lot of these types that we have. And then this movie tried to be like the next. So so many of these movies are trying to be like the next sci-fi franchise, yeah. and they've all bombed and tank. And it's and it's like, well, this is kind of yeah, be gonna, yourself. You got to count. You got to count. count it's making creative decisions. Yeah. Being counters have no All idea. right, so I guess Brandon, you don't. He's have already. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, James, but when you don't three. like, you just want to throw out. Uh, that no. you actually saw. No. Uh, <laughs> oh. Zombievers. I didn't really like that. We're getting a call. I love that movie. <laughs> We're getting a call. You remember how to get the phone on? Where we can talk to him? I'm terrified to answer the phone. Actually. Remember to hit the other button. We don't have time for that. We really don't. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. my number three worst movie, Furious 7. Furious 7, number three. Furious 7. I didn't get I mean, to see that. I'm sorry. I mean, We're not filming it, to answer the phone. It, it, it is, oh, Ocean's Eleven with body axe. That's what they're trying to be. 
Ocean's Eleven with body acts. Yeah, and they're they they're not smart enough to be Ocean's Eleven. Yeah, I told you that it's turning into like a heist. Yeah, it's starting to it's be a heist movie thing. with part yeah. five or something like that. And it was the song, no gosh, hey, that I mean, song. <sighs> it just played over and over and over. Mm. I mean, go. No, I will not see you again. You're done. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about like Paul it. Walker. He's fine. No, I'm not talking. I'm talking <laughs> about the song. He's a Ryan Dunn. They're having a race. Uh, <laughs> oh, too soon, too soon. Uh, no, you're fine. Um, <laughs> it's over like, oh my god, that was great. Go up. Again, go to checkedbrain.com. <laughs> yeah, okay, so yeah, me, Mikey, and Amanda did a review of it. Amanda wanted to see this movie and she walked out going, My eyes are bleeding. What was yeah, this? her was eyes so were bad? bleeding. Oh. Yeah, yeah, our check brain review. <laughs> yeah, it was man. Man, the, the, uh, I, they gave Michael Bay a run for his money. It was directed by James Wan. I had big hopes for this movie. Yep, didn't work. So anyway, Mikey, you're number three. My number three was Chappie. It's higher on my list. Okay. There you go. Right. Of just, just god awful. Like, okay, dude, we understand Blue Cap. You want to make a certain movie, but you're trying so hard now. No, you're failing miserably. Bad. Just, right. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love District Nine. At least I thought was okay. I came into Chappie with high hopes, but it just turned into a... Seriously, dude, did your nephew come I, in and write notes for you? Well, I mean, what, with what Womble was saying earlier, I kind of had my doubts a little bit. I was worried just from looking at it, but I yeah. wanted to go give it a chance because I love District 9, yeah. and Elysium wasn't bad. Well, but, the trailer for it looked pretty good. Yeah, it looked decent, but it was Once awful. again, it's Superman Returns trailer <laughs> syndrome. The right. trailer looks great. The movie... Man of Steel. Uh, that's Man of Steel, yeah. Steel, yeah. Get your Superman. All right, right. Womble, you're uh, number three. Returns, Prequel to the Big Chill, Superman movie. Uh, <laughs> um, the what? He's got an interesting theory, but go okay. on. You, you go ever on. seen the Big Chill? The Big Two? The Big Chill? The Big, big chill. chill. You've seen, seen the, the Big, big chill? chill with uh, Dennis Quaid? No, Kevin. You're thinking D.O.A. Jeff Goldblum and uh, Kevin Klein, Glenn mm. Close. No, you ever seen the Big you Chill? Need to put that wow. on your list. Need to watch the Big Chill. It's a great okay. movie. It's like a reunion movie in the '80s. It was shot in the '80s, but I mean, it was in the '80s. But it's a reunion movie. It's like the quintessential. Oh, I'm thinking movie. about the movie about New Orleans with. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Anyway, uh, Ted Two. Ted Two. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen that one yet either. I don't even saw. I the like first. the first one. I never saw the first one. First I saw one the first I... one, but I, from what he's just said, yeah, I've heard lots of. Be- I tried to actually watch it and didn't finish it. Oh. So I just, uh, you know, the first one was so funny. Like. Yeah, it was like uh, yeah. a it was like a Family Guy movie, but not quite as bad as Family Guy. <laughs> like with the right. on and on. It was and like on the on. first this season one of Family just Guy. Like forty minutes into it, and I'm yawning, and I'm like looking for my iPad, and I'm you know like want to do something <laughs> else, but the movie's still going. Like it right. just. Uh, you went by yourself, didn't you? Well, I saw this at home. Oh, okay. Too. <laughs> I'll say if we'd all been there together, we could have been picking that thing apart. It'd been great. All right, my number two is number Chappie. Two. Oh, wow. It's a higher. That's my number two. Yeah. I was pretty disappointed. We've already said we, we have to say about it. <laughs> we beat that horse to death. Like All right. Did. Mikey, you're number two. SpongeBob. <laughs> Why on God's green we earth do you still need people to film let this the thing review. happen? I went to Germany for nine years. You people let SpongeBob happen, and this is what it is. I'm glad my kid wasn't born with SpongeBob's out. He I had, would murder people. He had no idea what a SpongeBob I, was. I've never And I drug I him to this movie. Just to watch him watch it. The SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah, yeah SpongeBob the Spo- SquarePants yeah, I movie. I thought he was that funny. I I looked at that. I was like, and then you know what I did after that? I went and watched a couple episodes on uh, Netflix or something. And I'm like, this is the downfall of Western civilization. <laughs> this is what is wrong with America. SpongeBob. Okay. SpongeBob is okay. When I was a kid, cartoons were better. <laughs> Cartoon, you know, yeah, cartoons bad. were better. They were better drawn, better yeah. animated. They were just better all around. Yeah. You just got this retarded know. sponge making crabby cakes and this <laughs> stupid plankton trying to steal the formula and just oh my god the stupidity I just my ears bleed just thinking about it. <laughs> How anyone lets their children watch this on a daily basis? I'm so glad my kids. And they wonder why they're retard. Why their kids are retards now? That's why you let them watch SpongeBob. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Wobble. Next number two. Well, number two. Number two. Terminator. Genesis. Really? I missed that. I missed that one. He was, supposed to, he was supposed to take me with him, and then he went and you, watched it. Like, you were out of town. Yeah, exactly. You couldn't wait for me to get back. I'm well, sorry. You just decided to go watch <laughs> the right. movie. And Y'all need couples counseling. It just, <laughs> it just, I've been wanting to see a good Terminator. 
And I thought Salvation wasn't that bad. Everybody, a lot of people did hated it, but I, I thought it wasn't that bad. Okay. My only problem with Salvation was the trailer. I want Judgment Day. Like, bring me Terminator to Judgment Day. I don't care if you make it, if you just make exactly verbatim with new <laughs> graphics. <laughs> Give me the feel like the world is going to end. When I watch Judgment Day, I'm yeah. like, oh no, it's over with. Like, let me, you know. Skydet has won. I'm, done. It's done. But every other Terminator movie after two, which there's been three uh, of them. I just wish yeah. It's just stop. like an action movie. They need to quit. Leave it alone. All right, James, what's your number one worst movie of the year? Of My number one worst movie of the worst year? Worst movie of 2015. 2015? Hunger Games, Mockingjay Part 2. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You were there. I know I was there. It, you saw me it, walk out of that. Yeah. It, okay, in my opinion, you walked out I, of it? it wasn't the huh? worst. It's, it's a lot to walk out of a movie. Yeah. No, I didn't walk out. No, after, oh, after, after, the after over. it was over. I mean, and I walked really out, and movie. I was like, that stupid movie it, had more it's, endings it's suffered, than it's suffered, Return of the suffered, King. Exactly. It suffered from freaking Peter Jackson syndrome. They just and would my not, mistake you know, for they that movie. They did the same movie. thing in the book. Except in the book, it was a flowing in. It wasn't like five. I don't, chop I don't up care. Endings. I went and saw the movie. This yeah. is a movie. This is not a book review. This is People a book read. versus film. This isn't books on this, the radio. This isn't book versus film with Amanda. Okay. <laughs> this movie, I made the mistake of not checking my brain at the door. Oh God, he did. I walked oh, in, Sacrilege. and my ears started to bleed all. from the brain <laughs> aneur- aneurysm that I got from going how stupid. The stuff was that was happening in this movie. Now I haven't read the books. I don't know if the stupid stuff happened in the book, but if it happened in that book, I would burn that book. Really? Because the stupid right. stuff that they did in this yeah. movie. Well, Wumble, what's was your number stupid. one movie? Because we're getting short on time. Okay. Go yeah. Wumble. My number one worst movie is Fantastic Four. <laughs> yeah, how come that didn't? Oh, no, oh don't, I don't think worry. any of us saw they, it. No, no, I saw we it. Saw it. They made saw this it. movie. Yeah. They had to make this movie, otherwise they were going to lose the rights. Which yeah. is sad. Um, That's how the first one happened. He, he most would think that it's because of the way they did Doctor Doom, which was really bad. Like, <laughs> really, really, really bad version of Doctor Doom. Just embarrassing, embarrassing version of Doctor Doom. Yeah. It was like Kylo Ren. The Fantastic Four <laughs> characters weren't so bad. I could buy them. Kate Morrow was pretty good. Yeah. Um, I love, uh, what's his name, Miles? Uh, Austin Miles. Yeah, yeah, um, I know who you're talking about. Miles Teller. Whiplash. Miles Teller. Miles Teller, yeah. Whiplash. So, Woo. I thought I just, he did a pretty good job. Uh, Creed, that played in Creed, he was uh, he yeah. the Human Creed Torch. Um, my issue was, is, you know, the Fantastic Four fell off in comics. The team-ups, like, they, it was a little too campy, so that's when they started going towards other things <laughs> back in Marvel. But every great character was introduced through Fantastic Four, it seems like. Spider-Man every great himself. villain, every great team-up, every great... Because the Fantastic Four was a family. Even though it was superheroes, yeah, but it was yeah. a family. And still wasn't adopted they had by... they yet to make any Fantastic Four film. The Roger Corman. That <laughs> is... That is that is, is up to today's standards of comic book movies. Yeah, and the yet, sad right. thing is, is we're going to a civil war, and one of the greatest things about the comic books in the Civil War came from Reed Richards. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. No, he that's, created. That's what I was wondering, I was reading Civil you War. You know, the robotic Ragnarok is Thor. They thought Thor was dead. He created a robotic Thor. Thor comes back, and the Civil War is already going on. He kills Goliath, and this is what really splits. This is what really starts the Civil War because now people are swapping sides in the Civil War and things are really splitting out. And it was Reed Richards that created it. And guess what? We're probably not going to get it. No. 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 Because we can't have... going to do any of that. We can't have a Reed Richards in the Civil War. I think Disney should just buy it. They need to. They got the money off the I figured after that movie just dying a horrible death... Like Amazing Spider-Man 2, they would have got some way just to go ahead and wrap it into the, to. the Marvel Universe, but they didn't. So. All right. My number one worst movie 2015 is a two-way tie. Ooh, a tie. Fantastic Four and Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, look at that. <laughs> 
two way tie. Yes. But your reading of the book was so good. I smiggled it. That's right. You read some of Fifty Shades of Grey. And you're like, that yeah, he like didn't tell me about part. that. I'm sitting here. I'm just trying. I'm like, no, no. I'm that like, is like you have no idea how long it took ever. to film that part. It took us an hour to film this reading. That because he kept reading. Well, we kept cracking up. I could stop laughing. The book's laughable. I've read most of the book. It's very laughable. But we're we're quick. Fifty, not Fifty Shades. Fantastic Four. Minutes. I didn't hate it. Because I knew how bad it was going to be from what people said, what, and I went, Four? I went in thinking it's not a comic book movie based on a comic book, and I was like, it's not great. But it's even not even with that concept, it still sucked. <clears throat> yeah, but, but what the the reason it's my worst movie is well, yeah, me, you, and Mikey, we we an love the comic side of the universe. Oh yeah, like yeah, yeah. There's so much. I mean, there's the Venom stuff, Time to and plug, there's the Civil right War on. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it kills so much of it. Yeah, plug, but, plugs. But you know what, M- Marky J still sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, gentlemen, I've enjoyed this this evening. The best words of 2015. Wobble, thank you so much for coming in. I yeah, know, that was uh, awesome. Yeah, we enjoy it whenever you come in here. And like I said, I, the reason one of my favorite things about you is is you're always. Usually really on the other, well, he's on, he's on the other side of the coin. He's yeah. not a yes man. He's I owe you a right. beer review with good the beer. Right side, Max. Me- <laughs> yes, it's awful. awful. Yes, you man, are. Max is you're awful. on the right side. I love you. <laughs> oh, he he called me. A womble the other day because <laughs> I thought I ran. Oh, God. That was loud. <laughs> All right. Checkbrain.com. Go watch this in about a week. It'll be on video there. And you can see all the reviews I talked about, too, there. Okay. Checkbrain.com. Uh, like the Big Spring Film Society on Facebook. And Checkbrain Productions. Uh, we'll be back the week after Cruiser next Films. live. Cruiser Films. Yeah. Mikey's right. Big Sexy Diddle. Whoa. What?